Initially, it seemed like a lot of people were very hopeful for the relaunch of G4 TV, thinking that they would make high quality comedic content like they did once long ago, but all we got was a massive bag of disappointment. Adam Sessler constantly went on social media attacking anyone with opinions different than his. They were covering games that were years old, and then the Frost Grant happened, but the G4 saga is finally, officially coming to an end because not even a year after relaunch, G4 TV is now shut down. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams, that I create. Please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. Now, of course, over the past couple of months, I have been covering G4 pretty heavily because after the Frost Grant, there was just situation after situation, and I have said consistently that I didn't think G4 would make it to being a year old. It would be right under that mark, and they would officially cancel it, and now they have. It is very unfortunate for the people who did work at G4, who were very confident in the project and loved working in this environment, but when you force consumers away, they're not going to come back, and that is what happened. Consumers didn't give them another chance. It says Comcast pulls the plug on G4 TV, ending comeback try for the gamer-focused network. It says Comcast's Spectre division is pulling the plug on video game-centric network G4 TV, whose early incarnation in the 2000s remains a cultural touchstone for many millennials just a year after its relaunch. In a memo set to be sent out to all employees, Spectre's CEO David Scott explains that the company's investment and efforts to revive the network just didn't gain traction. A few dozen employees and contract workers are affected by the shutdown down, Comcast said it will assist them with outplacement and consider for some internal opportunities. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did talk about how um, they laid off many, many people. They laid off hosts, uh, production crew members, writers. They just laid off a lot of people. And Frost can went on social media and decided to mock those individuals. Now, right after that happened, we found out that she was leaving G4. They bought out her contract. But unfortunately, it was it was too late at that point. They were going to try to keep G4 around with a very small crew, and I do think that could have worked for, like, the YouTube channel, putting out some kind of content. But they just didn't have a choice at this point. It is already a dead network. It says the departure over the summer of Russell Ahrens, an experienced digital media exec who had come to work uh, at G4 as the president in 2021, was a precursor to today's news. Her duties were added to the portfolio of Joe Marsh, a Comcast uh, vet who has been the CEO of T1, an international esports joint venture with Korea's SK Telecom. Now, like I've talked about, there were several reasons why G4 failed. First of all was the content that they were putting out. They were putting out reviews of games that had come out in the time that they were not on air, that they were not making content, so they were covering games like Anthem. Okay, nobody cares about Anthem in 2022. Nobody wants to watch that type of content, so that was a giant key of it. And then you had people like Adam Sessler who were going on social media and making everything political. They would attack you if, uh, you know, your political opinion was different than theirs, and Sessler was definitely the worst out of them. I mean, he told Republicans that they were stupid, that they should drink piss, and he even wished awful things would happen to his Republican family members. So that was a big divide uh, between the audience that maybe wanted to watch G4 but didn't because they didn't want to support someone like Sessler. And then the Frost Grant happened. 
Frost went on the giant rant about sexism in gaming, and if you don't like this content, don't watch it. And that's what people did. People mass boycotted G4 TV, and they lost thousands of subscribers on YouTube, thousands of followers on Twitter and Twitch, and people didn't support them after that, and they just could not get back off the ground. They should have probably let Frost go after that rant. They probably should have quietly phased her out and bought out her contract then, and maybe they could have revived themselves, but I think that that Frost image would have forever stuck with them. And, I mean, their YouTube channels were doing awful. I mean, my YouTube channel was getting more views uh, and growing more than their X-Play channel with 500,000 subscribers. And this was originally the G4 channel, but after the G4 Frost rant happened, they decided to rebrand. They switched the channels. The X-Play YouTube account became the G4 one, and the G4 one became the X-Play one. They did try to fix the situation, but they just couldn't do it fast enough. I mean, at the very end, they were getting 13,000 views a day, 20,000, 14,000. There were some days with like a 30 and then there was a 45 in there, but they were averaging about 400,000 views a month, which isn't good for a 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel. And again, a lot of money from what we understand to be shoved into this. But the worst part of this situation, in my opinion, is the fact that they decided to shut G4 down only right under a year after relaunch, but they didn't tell anybody. There were so many employees commenting on this thread, hey, this tweet is how I found out that I lost my job. How neat. People um, saying things like, wow, I guess I'm out of a job, didn't know I was going to be out of a job today, and that is the worst part of this because there were people behind this that weren't awful people, that didn't hate the very consumers they needed to be successful, and I don't want to ever sit here and praise the fact that hardworking individuals lost their job, that people uh, got laid off, that people were let go, and this situation is very sad because, again, they were not told that this was happening weeks or months in advance. They found out because of social media, which is just disgusting. Overall, I don't really know if these members of G4 maybe are going to come together and create their own YouTube channel and try to do something on their own. That could be a possibility. Maybe they will go their separate ways. But at this point in time, I think that the G4 TV saga is kind of over just because they've decided to shut it down less than a year after its relaunch. I mean, we all saw it coming. We knew that it was going to happen eventually. A lot of us didn't think it was going to happen this quickly quickly, though, that they would try to keep it around as long as possible so that they didn't look like massive failures, but, well, they've decided to shut it down, and I don't think it's going to ever be revived for a third time. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.